Hello, JetBrains fans. So my day job, I, I mostly program in Java and I use IntelliJ all the time. But I, lately I've been tinkering with the SDL library in C++ and uh, I wanted to use CLion. <clears throat> and I had a little trouble getting SDL uh, set up and working, compiling and working in CLion. So uh, there is a little bit of information out there, but it was hard to find. So I put together my own video. Um, you know, I'm still learning. So this way, maybe there's better ways. If you know, uh, feel free to post them, but I'll show you what I did to get, uh, an SDL program running in IntelliJ. So I'm going to start by just creating an, uh, empty, um, IntelliJ C++ project. And so, you know, we should get something like this. Just our main file and CMake list. So right now, of course, you know, I'm gonna kind of walk through the steps here uh, as if I don't know that it's gonna break. So when we try to include SDL, we'll get that the SDL file is not found. So what we wanna do is go ahead and uh, download the SDL library. So you can, you know, Google SDL download. You should be able to find this page. LibSDL.org is posted at. And uh, I've seen, you know, some. So I am using the min GW compiler as my tool chain in IntelliJ or uh, in CLion. But I actually uh, use the, uh, the Visual Studio or the Visual C++ uh, development libraries, and it works for me. And I found it pretty simple to install. So I'm going to go ahead and download that. And uh, from there, so we have it downloaded. We need to extract these somewhere. For me, I just do. I had it there. So C libs <clears throat> this is just a directory i created you can really put it anywhere just you got to keep track of it um so right now i actually already have sdl set up with a bunch of different libraries so i'm going to go ahead and just rename this for the sake of showing how to set it up here so I'll create a new directory in our whatever lib directory we've chosen, call it SDL. And we'll go ahead and bring over the, all the uh, files here. So include has all our header files. And lib's going to have our binaries or DLLs. So we got that set up. <clears throat> SDL is here. Um, I'll first show you what happens if you just try and run it in the code because you might have run into this issue or someone might have ran into this issue too. Uh, so the next thing we need to do is point to it in a CMake list. And there's a couple pieces to that. First one is I'm going to set it to a, uh, set them to, I guess you could say like a, a variable. Um, I'm going to copy what I have because I have my cheat sheet over here, but I'll talk about it real quick. Uh, first, we're going to set two different, um, I'll call these variables, um, two different variables here. So one's going to point to the include directory that we just created in the CLibs SDL include, and we'll call it SDL2 include directory. And then we have another one, SDL lib directory. So of course, this is going to point to our libraries. Um, I read when I was first learning about SDL to use the 32-bit. So in this case, I'm pointing to the x86 folder so that I'm using the 32-bit binaries. Once we set those up, now we're going to do two other steps. Um, we're going to include first. So what this is is include directories, and this is all a part of CMake. And we're just calling this variable that we set up here earlier. And um, this just tells CMake to look 
in this directory when it's looking for header files or include files. The same thing here for link directories, pointing to the lib directory. Again, it's just telling CMake uh, where it can find those binaries at. Okay, so from here, I'm gonna reload our changes. And it now sees the header file, right? So when I was going through this the first time, I'm like, okay, you know, I should be able to run the application now, but we should I'll probably still run into an error here. So there's a, a couple steps to that we still need to take here. You'll see this undefined reference to win main. A couple of different things that can cause it. <clears throat> First thing we'll do is link the libraries. So again, it's another CMake um, I guess directive. So target link libraries. Throw in the uh, project name variable. And then we call two things, SDL2 main and SDL2. These uh, libraries here, we look, it's these here. So you have SDL2.lib, SDL2main.lib. So these are how you, this is a linking. If you use other uh, IDEs, I think they have a different mechanism, but uh, with CMake, you can link the uh, libraries this way. So we can try again to run it, and we'll still probably run into some trouble. So undefined reference to SDL main. Okay, so I got it figured out. I fell for this before, and I fell for it again. But, and I have a feeling that uh, a lot of people probably run into this issue, uh, especially when you, when you create a project in C-Line, a new project, I think by default, it just creates a main method with no arguments, but um, SDL too, it's expecting a specific signature. And if it doesn't find it, then you get this error, a specific method signature that is. So what we need to do is if you add these, so we have this int arg, and then you have your char pointer and it's a args. Ray. Uh, that is the signature that it, SDL is going to expect. So if you get this undefined reference, uh, check your main method. So I think we'll get past that issue now. And we did. So now what we're running into is this you know, process finish with an exit code. So anytime I see a new error, usually it's a good thing. It means making progress. Um, so really quick, just how I determine what was going on here is if we uh, go to the build directory where it's trying to build the project and click on it and we we'll, can see what the um, error is that's getting through. Uh, in this case, uh, it's saying that the SDL2 DLL was not found. So to, to fix that, go back to where we extracted the SDL, uh, the SDL library and uh, we can get that binary file. Um, of course, they're going to get the 32-bit version. So I'll copy that and uh, we'll put that in our Windows directory since uh, that's where it's going to look for. Uh, not the Windows direct directory exactly. And, and fun fact, you'd think that a 32-bit binary would go into System32, right? But uh, it actually goes into your SysWow64, I guess for compatibility reasons. They're backwards. So 32 bit binaries go to syswell 64. That was the uh, one that threw me off as well. So we pasted the SDL DLL there. I'm going to try running again. And hey, the, the program executed. And just to make sure, um, I've just got some, you know, SDL, basic SDL code from a tutorial that will punch up. SDL window, so we'll just make sure it runs. And it launches for two seconds and then it closes. So that's it. 
Uh, that's how I ended up getting SDL to working with Sea Lion. I'm sure there's other ways. If you know a better way, uh, feel free to share it. And I uh, hope it helped.